Alright, so a simple way to make a racing game more challenging is just to add a time limit, um, and I'll have a tutorial for that. Uh, but kind of a fun way to make it more challenging is to actually have an opponent that you've got to race against. Um, and you can do that pretty easily uh, by adding up another character. Um, in this case, I'm going to have us race against the turtle. And we'll work on his program, and we're going to program him to follow this path. So that as I try to race along the road, he's also going to be trying to race by following the path. Uh, so it's pretty easy to do. We go to his program, and we don't even need a when, but we'll just say when always. We want him to do move, and we want him to move on the path. Um, we can adjust his speed. If it's too easy to beat him, we might want to turn the speed up. If it's really hard to beat him, we might want to turn his speed down. So let's just give this a try and see how it works. So you can see he looks like he is following the path. Uh, but he is going pretty slowly. In fact, I can kind of just push him out of my way and pass him up. Uh, so to make him a little bit more s difficult, we can add it quickly, quickly. And let's try this. So he's looking a little bit more difficult to beat here. I need to get back on the road. And I passed him back up. Um, but at this point, this is looking pretty easy to beat him. He's way back there. So we'd probably want to increase his speed even more. If uh, if you can't add any more quicklies to his speed on his program, um, another way you can increase his speed is by changing his settings. And the first setting is his speed multiplier. So right now it's set to 1. I can turn that up a little bit. Uh, you can also turn up the acceleration little bit so he speeds up faster and if we try this one more time now we should have a turtle that's going much much faster and would be much more challenging to beat. You can try maybe cutting across the lava if I want to be risky. There we go. I caught back up to him. Because he's going to stay on the path um, and you would be able to cut the corners but already you can see he's kind of catching up to me this is going to be a close finish let's see if I can get there before him alright uh, when he got to the end of the path he saw he actually turned around and went back uh, I could program him to when he is at the end of the path we could say game End. So if he gets to the end of the path before me, the game would end. If I get to the end of the path before him, then I could program a win for me. Really fun. You could program your main character to shoot. I'm jumping with spacebar, so I'm going to use the left alt button, which is under miscellaneous. Um, the left alt, which is right by the spacebar. I'm going to shoot. Try shooting blips. want my blips to stun. So when he shoots his blips, if he can shoot the turtle, he should actually kind of stun him so he stops moving for a second. You see I got him a couple times there and it is slowing him down. But he still passed me up. There we go, got him at the end.